Cassidy. Hi, how are you? That was my Veronica Mars. Come over right here, come over here. You're right behind me. You're oh. like, yeah, here, you gotta go. Step over? No, 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 no. You just had uh, to get where I can see. Oh, I see you. Hi. <laughs> All right, cool. You literally just fed right into my first question. So as a Cassidy, I've been a Cassidy now for 27 years. Mm -hmm. What did you learn during playing that character? What do you think is the essence of a Cassidy, since hopefully, you have experience being one? Hopefully not like a, a murdering, um, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to watch my back if that's, if, that's, if, that's really, if that's really how all Cassidy's are. Cassidy was a yeah. bit of a damaged individual. Are you telling me you're damaged? No, my name means clever, so I'm going to go with oh, that road. Clever. It is a Grateful better. Dead song. It's a deadhead thing. Yes. But, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But yes, Cassidy yeah. Casablanca. Yes. When you look back now, I mean, that... You're what? You're 30 now. So when you played that, that was years ago. 18, 19. What would you tell yourself at 18? Because we're on the other side of the 20s now. We're heading yeah. into 30s. So I was looking. I was talking to my friend about that, and I was like, you know, 30-year-old me would, or 18-year-old me would probably try to kick 30-year-old me's ass. And be like, <laughs> I, I don't, well, you're I don't, a dad now too. I, am. I mean, I, I think 30-year-old me would be. Hi. Hi. I love that we made it all of each other on the. I know. On the um, I, I, you keep I getting behind me. You're an actor. Sorry, are you? Sorry, what is this? Why are you hiding behind me? I have a hard time standing still. Um, I don't know. That I can respect. I'm the you same know, way. I think like 18, 19 year old me would be shocked to hear that I'm 30 years old and I have two kids and you know you're married and and I I think it would just be very I think he'd be very surprised. 12 years in the industry. What have you learned the most about yourself? <sighs> you know, I think it just. That's that's a good that's a hard question actually you know I th I think w w with with this industry and and within you know being an actor and what you do I think there's a really good opportunity you know for self self growth you know you play all these different people and you get to dive into the mindsets of all these different people and kind of learn to you know empathize with you know all different kinds of people or walk in the shoes of all different kinds of people so I I, I think you just you really learn a lot just about yourself from from doing all this and and. You know, it teaches, it gives you a good work ethic, and you just, you just really, you know, you you work hard every day, you know, and you you have to, and you have to continue to work hard because it's it's a never-ending kind of kind of thing, and it's and it's amazing because there's no ceiling. You get to continuously try to better yourself, and you're continuously changing your technique and learning stuff, and you know, looking up things you maybe would never have thought to look up, but because a role is bringing that to you, you're like, oh yeah. Okay, I need to learn math. Um, that's a really, you know, broad example of it. But there's, I don't know, you just, you really learn a lot. When you're not working, what would you say is just sort of the day in your life? Like, what are you doing to just sort of decompress? Um, I'm going to need my hair back when, yeah, right? when, you're, when, you're, when you're done with your interview. I'm going to need to nap in your beard. Uh, <laughs> beard nap. You're coming back, right? Um, it's yours. Your hair is longer than mine. Yeah, I know it's out of control. Um, I there's no real decompression. I have two little boys. I have a you know a two year old and an almost four year old. So it's it's waking up with them, getting breakfast ready, or you know the decompression comes from the days sometimes where like my wife has gotten up and I didn't realize she got up, and I'm like, oh man, she's taking care of the kids. I get like, I have like an extra half hour, or um, you know vice versa but it's it's pretty much run and gun from you know the time you get up to the time you put them to bed and for you what was it about this because obviously if you're busy and you have the kids and a lot going on what was it that drew you a you had season one and then that moment as an actor when it gets picked up for season two what do you think it is about the story the script the characters it's really resonating in this way um i think it's you know it's a pretty unique show i don't think there's a whole lot of um a whole lot of content that's that's been like this and I think there's an appeal to you know the Farrells I think there's an appeal to that world of living off the grid and not being totally reliant upon you know your phone or your computer or, you know uh, constantly checking your Instagram or your Twitter it, like it's nice to step back and I think people are kind of hungry for that you know I think people miss kind of a simpler time I, th I think there's so much stimulation right now that I think sometimes it does get to be too much. That I, th I think there's an intrigue about what would it be like if I could just shut all this off and walk away. 
Um, so I think that I think that resonates with people. I think um, I think you also just have you know an interesting storyline with compelling characters. Uh, you know, there's a lot that happens. You got a lot of you got a lot of good characters and a lot of um, a lot of good stuff that goes on. So I think people just. Just like it. <laughs> and I had to commend you as a reporter. I really appreciated the retweet earlier when I asked your oh, fans for questions, yeah, right which I did. I got a question and I was like, how do I even announce this? But there were a lot of tweets about one particular character. It starts with a K. I couldn't even pronounce on it. On the show? Yeah, on the show. It was like, ask about... Craig? No, 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 no. I'm gonna, no? I liked it, so let me see. They kept saying... Kenna, why? Are oh, Kenna. <laughs> this one girl. You have some super fan tweeters, by the way. <laughs> they I all want to know about Kenna. So, uh, the Kenna what are new is... to season two. I can't really, can't really, oh, can't really okay. dish. You'll find out really soon, though. They're not. They come into the picture pretty quickly. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks right. for clearing Thank that up. Much. Have a good day.